Ready for an arty party? We're in the party pile! It's the perfect place for a party! So, let's get arty! It's the Mini Makers! And look who I've invited The Shapes and Scraps He's so excited All the mini makers are partying too But most importantly We invite you Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one Let's go! Let's get arty Everybody party Come on, let's dance everyone Let's get arty Everybody party And it's great to see you. Now, what do you think we should make our party about today? Yes, you have a think. Have you got any ideas? Come on, then, Mini Makers, over here. Over you come. Now, we're going to show you some clues, see if you can guess what our party is going to be about today. Yeah. What is it? Shout out, you know the answer. Fish. And I'll give you one last clue, Mini Makers. <coughs> Have a look at this, Mini Makers. Look. What are they? <laughs> That's right, some flippers. So, Mini Makers, what's our party going to be about today? The sea! That's right. We're going to have a party all about the sea. Scraps? Scraps, where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are. You do like to be beside the seaside, don't you, Scraps? <laughs> now, go on, see if you can find some fish. Dive! <laughs> there he goes. OK, then, Mini Makers, now we are going to go down to the sea and make an arty party picture. Now, what should we use for our picture? Well done, Mini Makers, some fantastic ideas there. And in fact, you've just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get Artie at our party and make a seaside rock pool with blue water, brightly coloured sea creatures and sand. But first, we'll need some things from... The <laughs> We'll need some cards. <laughs> we'll also need some gloopy glue, a brush, and some crayons or chalk. <laughs> a toy fish. A toy fish doodle tube. This is a sea party, but we don't need this. There's something fishy going on here. <laughs> We'll need this, some play sand that you can find in a toy shop. <laughs> and we'll need a pen and some stickers. <laughs> All right then, Mini Makers, let's get started. Now, this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some old paper or some newspaper first. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in some card like this and we're going to draw a rock pool shape. That's brilliant. Thanks, JP. That's very kind. Now, this is going to be a rock pool under the sea, so what shall we put inside, you think? Yeah. Well done. Lots of lovely ideas there. I think I'll start with some seaweed. Here we are. And what colour am I using for the seaweed? Green. That's it, green. There we go. Now, what else should we have swimming around the seaweed? Fish. Fish. Yes, let's draw a fish. There we are. So this is our fish. That's amazing. A 
And why not add different coloured fish? And any sea creatures you like. Starfish! Now, as it's a rock pool, let's do some waves. <laughs> OK, Mini Makers, now for the messy bit. We need to brush some glue all the way around the outside of our picture. I think we might be, Jacob. Lots of glue first, though. Next, we need to sprinkle some play sand over the top. Thank you very much, Nicole. What a marvellous mini-maker. Here we go. Now, we need a tray. Thank you, Jacob. Watch this. Be very carefully. Pick up your pitcher and shake off the sand into the tray. And look at that. Whoa. It's good, isn't it? We've got a rock pool with sand all the way around it. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. And we can add some detail to our fish and our starfish with some stickers and a pen. Finished. What do you think? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that because now you're going to get your own chance to make your party pictures. But first, you need to put on your... Party yeah. Because it's time to... Start! Lots of lovely seaside art, Mini Makers. And let's have a look at Xander's picture. This is brilliant. What's in your rock pool, Xander? Xander fish. A Xander fish? Crab. A crab. And clownfish. And a clownfish. Fantastic. Well done, Xander. Now, you keep making with your picture. Because I wonder, has anyone else ever had any arty ideas to do with the sea? Let's find out. <laughs> Many years ago, there was a famous artist called Joseph Turner. One day, he decided to paint a picture of a very stormy sea, which he wanted to make very realistic. Then, he had an amazing idea. That's it! But first, I need something waterproof to wear. Oh, yes! Here we go! Ha-ha! Man the rigging! <laughs> Believe it or not, some people think Turner strapped himself to the mast of a ship during a storm. And all the tossing and turning gave him some brilliant ideas. What are you looking at? I'm not a sardine, you know. And with these ideas, he painted one of his most famous pictures of a very stormy sea. Oh! Can someone untie me, please? I'm feeling a bit seasick. Oh, I should get a prize for this, you know. And they'd call it the Stomach Turner Prize. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, you would say that. Wow, so he painted a picture strapped to a mast. I guess that's why they call it a masterpiece. Now let's see how the mini makers are getting on. <laughs> This looks brilliant. Let's have a look at your picture. Now, what have you got in here? Well, I've got a blue fish and a purple fish. Mm. And I've got a frog and a starfish. Ah, and what are these all around here? Um, they're called sea anemones. Wow, sea anemones. That's brilliant. <laughs> Right then, Nicole, tell me about your lovely picture. Well, I like the sandcastle and I like the seahorse and the heart in it. 
Yes, your rock pool is a heart shape, and I love it. Now, Nathan, what are you sprinkling sand onto there? A sand castle. Well done, Nathan, and well done, Mini Makers. You have made some super <laughs> seaside pictures. Can you hear that noise? It, it sounds like someone's asleep at our party. Who is it, everyone? That's right, my friends, it's the shapes, and I think we should wake them up. So after three, shout, wake up as loud as you can. One, two, three. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> the squares making. It's a sand castle. Well done, Square. It's time to get back on the shelf. If you want to make a paper plate stingray like this, all you need to do is colour in a paper plate with a wax crayon, then colour in a thin triangle of card as well. Bend the plate with both hands like this and fold the triangle in half. Now stick it to the paper plate to make a tail. Add stickers for eyes. And your paper plate stingray is finished and ready to play with. What a brilliant idea, Scraps. You can make any sea creature you like. Christopher. Tell us about what you've made there, my friend. Well, I've made a colourful clam that can open up. Oh, that's great. Well done, Christopher. And Miriam, what have you made here? Show I us. I made a starfish. It has yellow and orange colours. Well done, Miriam. And then over here, last but not least, Joshua, what have we got here? A spotty stingray. A spotty stingray, just like my waistcoat. Well done, Joshua, and well done, Mini Makers. And now for something completely different. Jump up and follow me. Follow me, everyone, this way. <laughs> Mini Makers, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Now, have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it's going to be. What picture are today's Mini Makers making? Any ideas yet? <laughs> what do you think it could be? It's a turtle! That's right, it's a turtle! Well done! 
sun, Mini Makers. <laughs> you know what that noise means. It's time for... Emma Tea Party Game! Yeah! So it's over to Party Cam to find out which Mini Makers are playing today! It's Nicole! Yay! Who's next? It's Iona! Yay! Off you go, Party Cam! Who's it going to be? It's James! Last one! It's Xander! Well done, my friends. You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. Today's game is called Splish, Splash, Splosh. And your arty challenge is to float the good ship maker. But at the moment, there isn't a sea for it to float on. So you need to use your brushes and your paint to create a beautiful sea for this boat to float on. Now, it can get very, very messy. So that's why you're wearing your arty suits and we've put down lots of old paper first. Now, Nicole, James, Iona and Xander, do you think you can do it? Yeah! You must be very quick and you must finish before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Go! Load up those brushes. That's it. It looks nice if you mix up some of the colours. Oh, it looks brilliant. Oh, that looks good. Look at the white mixing in with the blue. <laughs> oh, quick. Scraps is getting ready. We better get the boat on. Right, brushes down, everyone. Come round here. Here we go. Let's put it down. Very nice. Just in time. You did it, Mini Makers. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Look at that fantastic picture. A boat on a super sea. Well done, everyone. But now it's time to tidy up, and I'll help you, Mini Makers. What a fantastic arty party we've had today. Come on, everyone. Right, let's pick this boat up first of all. We've had a super seaside party, making sandy rock pools and paper plate creatures. We've learnt about Joseph Turner's stormy paintings, and we've splished, splashed, and sploshed afloat the good ship maker. We do arty at our arty party. Are you ready? Your fun's just begun! Yes, our party's over, but your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon, everyone! Bye! We're in Australia. Hey, we're down by the sea. And look, there's an aquarium. What a fantastic place to get some arty ideas. <laughs> wow, look at all these fish. They're so colorful and all different shapes and sizes. Oh, look at that shark. There's something fishy going on here. I just had an idea. Let's try something. Use salt to make this amazing salty sea picture. Let's make it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Now, we'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. Hello, <laughs> mini makers. Now, who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker. My name is Madeline. Hello, Madeline. I can help you. Oh, fantastic. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, great. Madeline is on her way to help us make the picture. But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we're ready to make our picture by using these arty things. Some sheets of white paper. 
some water. A washing up sponge and a bowl. Some food colouring. Some brushes and some pens. Some salt. Some scissors and a glue stick. And last but not least, we also need a tennis racket. A, a tennis racket? We don't need a tennis racket. Scraps? How did you get here? We don't need one of these, but we do need some stickers, please. Let's take the racket back. Go on. That's it. Now be careful. Be careful. That's it. Oh, brilliant. Well done, Scraps. Thank you. We've got some stickers. Now, we've got everything we need, but it feels like something's missing. Do you know what it is? I'm here, Mr. Mega. Madeline, of course. It's you. Thank you very much for coming. Now, you're just in time because we're going to make our picture like this one here. It's a salty sea picture. Now, this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some newspaper or some old paper first. And Madeline, I think we should put on some aprons. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes. Okay, then lead the way. Here we go. Oh, look at us. Now, Madeline, are you ready? Yes. Brilliant. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is turn our plain white paper into some patterned paper. Let's use a sponge and some water for this. That's it, Madeline. Now, make the paper nice and wet. And whilst it's still wet, we're going to need some of this stuff. It's food colouring. Now, you can buy food colouring from a food shop, but you might have some at home already, so ask a grown-up to help you. First, we're going to use blue food colouring and spread it onto the paper. Now, whilst everything is still wet, it's time for our special ingredient, salt. Here it is. And when we sprinkle the salt over the wet food colouring, it leaves an amazing pattern behind. Now, you can sprinkle this ordinary salt, or you could even use this. <laughs> Rock salt. <laughs> Let's try this, Madeline. Sprinkle rock salt wherever you like. It comes in much bigger pieces and it leaves bigger marks on the paper. When you've finished sprinkling, leave it to dry. We've made lots of different colours of paper like this and brushed off all the dried salt. We're ready to start drawing now, Madeline. And what shall we draw? Um, seaweed and some fish. Seaweed and some fish. That's a great idea. I'll tell you what, why don't you take this pink paper, and let's get drawing. When you finish drawing, carefully cut everything out. Remember to keep one piece for your background. Now we can arrange all of the pieces in our picture. <laughs> and when you're happy with your picture, glue everything down. We've finished. We've even added some stickers for eyes and mouths. A brilliant salty sea picture. And if you enjoyed that, how about trying these ideas too? A salty octopus with orange fish. Or you could even try a wonderful whale in a salty sunset. Why don't you try one of those pictures today? Well, thank you so much for your help, Madeline. We, we made, made it. it! High five. What a fantastic picture. What a brilliant salty effect. Well done, Madeline. Wow! Oh, look where we are. We're in Hong Kong. Oh, and look. Look at all the boats. There are lots of boats sailing on wavy water. That's just given me a great idea. Let's try something. 
try making a fantastic silver line picture of a boat sailing on wavy water. Let's make it! Now we'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. Oh! <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker. I'm Matthew. Oh, hello, Matthew. I can help you. Oh, that's great news. Everyone else, thank you. We'll see you soon. Matthew, let's get making. Oh, great. Matthew is on his way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wonderful! The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our picture. We'll need some cardboard box card, some paint, some gloopy PVA glue and some kitchen foil. Some sticky tape and some paint brushes. And of course, we need one more thing. That's right, some maracas. <laughs> Wait a minute. We don't need maracas. Scraps, it's you. How did you get here? <laughs> oh, I see. Look, Scraps, open up, please. Open up. See if you can find a pen. Go on, up you go. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Scraps. Just what we need. <laughs> We've got a pen. Great. We've got everything we need. Although, it does feel like something's missing. Do you know what it is? Um, uh, oh, Hi, no. Mr. Maker. Of course, Matthew, it's you, my friend. Thank you very much for coming. You're just in time to help us make a picture. Look at that. It's a silver line picture of a brilliant boat in a wavy sea. Now, Matthew, are you ready? Yes. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we need is a sheet of cardboard box card like this. And we're going to draw something on it. You can draw whatever you like, but today we're going to draw a boat bobbing on the water with a chimney, a flag and floats along the side. Let's get drawing! <laughs> when you've drawn your picture, you'll need some gloopy glue. So, Matthew, can you find some gloopy glue, please? Thank you. Watch this, Matthew. Just squeeze gloopy glue all over the lines you've drawn. When you've covered all the lines in your picture and left the glue to dry hard and bumpy, it'll look like this. Now we need to cover this in a large sheet of kitchen foil. And I think you've got some there, Matthew. Can you pass it over? Oh, it's a bit windy. Now fold the foil over the edges of the cardboard and fix it in place with sticky tape and then turn it over. And when you've done that, you'll need this, your finger. Fingers at the ready. <laughs> we need to take our fingers and we're going to very carefully rub the foil to make the bumps and the glue lines stand out. And your picture should reappear where you have rubbed. Now we're ready to colour in our picture inside the bumpy lines with a very special painty mixture. Now, Matthew, can you grab that big bottle of gloopy glue, please? Add a big squirt to each colour of paint and start mixing. Done. Thank you very much, Matthew. Good mixing. Now, the reason we've used gloopy glue in our mixture is so that the paint sticks to the foil. Let's start with some orange paint and we can paint the main part of our boat. Paint as carefully as you can, making sure that you don't get any paint on the bumpy silver lines. Matthew, look, we've finished our picture. 
And by not painting on the silver bumpy lines, the boat really stands out. And we've even left some parts of the picture silver to add to the effect. And if you enjoy that, why not try these other ideas too? You could try a silver-lined car with go-faster stripes and a shiny silver window. Or how about a silver-lined rocket flying past silver stars? Or you could even try a silver-lined robot with a silver robot dog. Why don't you try one of those ideas today? Thank you so much for helping me, Matthew. We made it! High five! for an arty party, we're in the party pad. It's the perfect place for a party. So, let's get arty. It's the Mini Makers. OK, my friends, are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party! We're going to have a party and look who I've invited. The Shakes and Scratch. He's so excited. All the mini makers are partying too. But most importantly, we invite you. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Scraps, it's great to see you, my friend. Now, what should our party be about today? <laughs> Not yet, Scraps. Let's see if the Mini Makers have got any ideas. OK, Mini Makers, over you come, my friends. That's it. Well done. Now, have a look at the screen. We're going to show you some clues. See if you can guess what our party's going to be about today. And I'll give you one last clue, Mini Makers. A steering wheel! That's right, this is the steering wheel on my car because we're going to have a party today all about... Transport! Yeah! Oh! Oh, hello, Scraps! Up, up and away in your beautiful balloon. Friends, let's go on a terrific transport adventure and make an arty party picture. What should we use today? Bright colours, stickers, glue, card, paper. Well done, Mini Makers. Some great ideas there. And in fact, that's just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get arty at our party and make a brilliant busy road picture using brightly coloured paper or card to make cars and lorries. But first, we'll need some things from... The Doodle That's right! <laughs> we'll need some brightly coloured paper or card and some stickers. Some strawberry jam. Oh, Doodle Tube, I get it. This is traffic jam. Very clever, but not what we need right now. And we'll need a pen and a glue stick. 
All right, Mini Makers, let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in some background paper or card. I think this nice light blue colour will work well because this can be the sky in the background. Then we need to put a road on top. And for that, we're going to use this nice scrap of grey paper. And we're going to tear a nice long road. It can be as wiggly as you like. There we go. That's a nice long road. Then we need to stick it down. Here we are. Oh, yes, this is going to look good. And down it goes. Now we can use some torn out paper shapes for the bushes in the background. Let's stick this down. Yes, that's looking good. And now the next one. Can you pass it over, please, Josh? Thank you, my friend. Let's stick it down. So we've got some nice bushes in the background. Now we're going to use some stickers to make the lines in the road. Next, we need to make some vehicles to go on our road. I'm going to use rectangles of card to make a lorry and a car. Let's start with a purple rectangle and stick it down here. Then add another rectangle to make the back of the lorry and two more for a car. Now we can add some stickers for wheels, windows, and lights. We can even add some round stickers to make the drivers. And last but not least, we can use a pen to add some finishing touches. Draw on some faces. And it looks really good if you add some detail to the lorry. There, it's all done. Do you like the picture, Mini Makers? Yeah! Well, I'm glad that you like it, because now it's your turn to make your very own picture. But first, you've got to put on your... Off the apron! <laughs> it's time to... Start the art! Emily has made a very colourful start here. What's this? A rainbow. A very colourful rainbow. And I like what you've done with the lines in the road. Is this a rainbow road? Yeah. And, of course, this is just a great start. What vehicles are you going to put on your road? I'm going to put two lorries on the side and I'm going to put a cart in the middle. I can't wait to see it, Emily. Keep making. And I wonder, has anyone else ever had any arty transport ideas? Let's find out. Leonardo da Vinci lived in Italy. He was a very famous artist and known for painting some very famous paintings. Oh, nearly there. As well as being an artist, he was also a clever inventor. Oh, yes. He was interested in flying, and when he wasn't painting, he would invent designs for machines that could fly. He was convinced that one day humans would be able to fly like birds, so he created a flying machine. It had a pair of enormous wings and space for a person to sit inside and flap them. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, Leonardo never built the machine and the world would have to wait many years for a machine that could actually fly. Or will it? I knew that idea would fly. <laughs> well, it's plain to see that Leonardo was a genius. <laughs> now let's see how the Mini Makers are getting on. Kira has made a really colourful start. This isn't just a road, it's a bridge. What have you got on your bridge? A car and a lorry. Who's driving this car? 
My mum is driving the car and my dad is driving the lorry. Wow, that's great! Your mum and your dad, but unfortunately, they're in a traffic jam. But the good news is, your mum can eat these things at the side of the road. What are they? Apples. They look brilliant. Good enough to eat. <laughs> it's time to take a trip under the sea to see Josh's picture. What's this in the middle, Josh? That's my submarine. A super submarine. And what have you got swimming around the submarine? Lots and lots of fish. Lots of different shapes to make lots of fantastic fish. <laughs> Marsha, this is a marvellous picture. It's out of this world. It's a spaceship going through space. <laughs> Look at this moon here. And what are these two things here? These are two very strange aliens. Yes. That really is brilliant. <laughs> Bonnie Lou has made a beautiful boat with lots and lots of coloured spots on it. What did you use for all the coloured spots? I used stickers. Well done, Bonnie Lou, and well done, Mini Makers. It sounds like someone is snoring. <laughs> Who is it, everyone? That's right, it's the shapes. And I think we should wake them up. So after three, ready? One, two, three. Wake What are the rectangles making? Can you guess? That's right, it's a bus! That was fantastic, Rectangle! It's time to get back on the shelf! Yay! <laughs> To make a fingerprint train like this, start with the engine by covering your finger with paint or ink. Then make a print onto some paper or card. Now, using the same colour, make a thumbprint. Then, to make the carriages, make more fingerprints on the paper. When the ink or paint is dry, draw on detail with a pen. Well done, Scraps. What a fantastic fingerprint train. And you can make any sort of fingerprint transport you like. The sun is shining in Denzel's picture. What have you made? I made a really, really long car. What colours did you use? I used blue and purple and black for the pen. It looks great, Denzel. That is a very, very, very long car. And it's off to the fun fair for Kimberly's picture. What have you made? 
bumper cars. I love the bumper cars. What colours of bumper cars have you made? I have yellow, orange, blue, purple, red and green. Very nice. What colourful bumper cars? Sam has made an action-packed picture. Look at this. We've got a line of fingerprint cars. And what's jumping over the top, Sam? A monster truck. A monster truck. Now, the monster truck is bigger than all the other cars. How did you make that? With my thumb. With your thumb. Well done, Sam. And well done, Mini Makers. That was brilliant. But now, follow me. This way. Over here, Mini Makers. Come on, my friends. That's it. Over you come. Now, Mini Makers, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it is. What picture are today's mini makers making? <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> what do you think it could be? You made a super submarine, and that sound is super too. It means it's time for... A party party game! Yay! Yay! So it's over to Party Cam to find out which mini makers are playing today. Off you go. It's Marsha! Yay! Who's next? Let's find out. Try! Yay! Well done, my friends. You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. Yay! Today, Mini Makers, let's take to the skies and make an amazing aeroplane that looks a little bit like this one here. It's very colourful, but Mini Makers, you're going to make a really big one! You're going to make it on this massive super sky using all of these colourful shapes. Now, Troy and Marsha, do you think you can do it? Yes! I think so too. But you've got to be really quick. You've got to finish your aeroplane before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. Get steady. <laughs> go! <laughs> Off you go, Mini Makers. They're starting with the clouds. That's it. That looks good. Right, you've got gaps for something. What's going to go in there, Marsha? Propellers. Great idea. Stick them in. Ah, <laughs> oh, it looks like the wings are going to fit on. Yes, well done, Mini Makers. Right, what's next? Mm, yeah, where do they go? Maybe up here. <laughs> yes, we might have some other things to put on as well. A white piece here and a white piece there. That's looking good. What are you sticking on now? The wheels. The wheels. <laughs> Time up! Well done, Mini Makers. Come over here and give yourselves a big cheer. Yeah! Well done, my friends. Look at that. A fantastic flying machine. Well done, Mini Makers. That was brilliant. But now it's time to tidy up. Let's get started. We've had a brilliant arty party today. <laughs> We've had a terrific time with transport, making busy road pictures and vehicles made from fingerprints. We found out that Leonardo da Vinci invented a flying machine and we made a giant aeroplane in our arty party game. We arty at our arty party. Oh. Ready. Your fun just began! Yay! Yes, our party's over, but your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon, everyone. Bye! Bye.